This is a fan of the game. My goodness, fun. that's fun. All right, let's turn our attention to the Packers, where Jordan Love suffered a knee injury week one in the loss of the Eagles in Brazil. Love avoiding the IR, but still may have some issues they need to work through. Let's hear from head coach Matt LaFleur on their plans at quarterback as they face week two. Now, the same challenges they are every week. you got to get your team ready to play. I mean, the circumstances does not dictate how, how we go about and how we approach a game ever. So never has, never will. So it's just you think about how do we put our players in the best position possible, no matter who's out there. That's that's the mentality. I mean, that's the only way I go about it. Adam Schefter back with us. What more can you tell us about the plan at quarterback out in Green Bay this week? The Colts are coming to town. Well, all right, Laura, today Jordan Love did not practice, not out there, which is a sign that obviously he's not going to be ready to play on Sunday. The expectation all along has been that he would miss three to four weeks, which was confirmed when the Packers said that they don't plan to place him on injured reserve, which would automatically sideline him for four weeks. So if they're not putting him on IR, they're holding out hope he could be back sooner than that. But it looks like this week is not going to happen. And if he doesn't play on Sunday at home against the Colts. That means that Malik Willis would step in and start. The Packers acquired Willis during the summer in a trade with the Titans, and they will trot him out there. At least that's the plan on Sunday against the Indianapolis Colts. All right. Thanks, Adam. Dan, how much does the scheme change with Willis in there and love out? Yeah, I don't think a ton. I mean, in Tennessee, there was elements that he ran offensively that is similar to this. He is a dynamic athlete, so I'd say number one, uses legs. There's evidence that Malik Willis is a little bit um, more of a running threat than a Jordan Love. You yeah. can go after some of the zone read stuff because their run game is so good. You can use some of the motions. So I think using his legs now, you've got to be comfortable with him taking an extra shot or two. So you got to be very smart. Number two, cut the field in half. What I mean by that is high-low, one side or the other. They create one-on-ones, maybe some max protection play actions, and then move the pocket. You know, make sure that you're trying to simplify this stuff. And it's not an intellect thing. You're just trying to get him – to, it's kind of like what we were just talking yeah, about, exactly. clarity. Yeah. Like, and just making – don't yeah. give him so much to think about. Hey, man, we're working the right side of the field. You are going high to low or low to high. And if not, you're using some of that zone read or move the pocket mm -hmm. elements to his game. Absolutely. This offense has such a nuance, has so many details. And, yeah, he ran kind of an element of it in Tennessee. But there is a lot that he's not up to speed on in their version of it, which they kind of all run sure. their own. And so if I, when I'm a receiver, if I'm in the receiver room, what I'm coaching them on is exactly what you said, Dan, and what we talked about. We have to give him a clear picture. We have to be fast off the ball as well as probably getting your head around a little early. There's chemistry things that these receivers had with Jordan Love that is not going to be there. You have to ease Malik Willis into this. And from the receiver perspective, you got to take on a little bit of that responsibility yeah. so that everything doesn't feel like it's being thrown at him all at once. Yeah, you see it on the screen just 20 days after he was traded to the Packers. Hey, hey here you go. You're starting. Uh, Jason, how does the change at quarterback affect both the Colts and the Packers defense? Well, for the Colts, I got to imagine they're going to stack the box. They're going to go in there and they're saying, we're going to stop Josh Jacobs and we're going to force Malik Willis to have to throw the ball to have to beat us. And they feel really comfortable about that game plan. If you're on the Packers defense, you're walking in there and saying, hey, we just got this guy 20 days ago. And if you watch him play while he was in Tennessee, they won games where Malik Willis might have gotten this play or start and they refuse to throw the ball. The ball mm -hmm. off to Derrick Henry damn near every single play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. as a, def a defender in the Green Bay Packers, you're saying, we got to go out there and we got to dominate the Indianapolis Colts to be realistic, to give ourselves a chance to win this game. Mm -hmm. They can't expect Malik Willis to go in there and put up 30 points. That game, Derrick Henry rushed for 219 yards and two touchdowns. So, yeah, dang near every play. Yes. All right, new one in who kind of looked like a rookie week one despite the Chicago win. The defense helped in a big way there. Lots to improve on after the debut. You. Let's hear from Williams what he said today. Um, sometimes I, I rush my drop a little bit, um, you know, not not needing to, you know, one one specific route that uh, um, that I can that I can think of is Rome when he was, or I think it was a, a ten yard route um, right over the ball, um, and I rushed my my drop and then uh, you know tried to tried to juice it in there a little bit and missed. Um, you know, I didn't need to. Um, just trying to hurry up and get the ball to him. You know, uh, just making sure, you know, trusting the drop, trusting the reads and things like that um, and getting through them. Um, you know, uh, I'd say that's probably the, the, the biggest thing that I'm focused on. And then, you know, my finishes on my play fakes or anything like that.
All right, so conveniently, we're going to break down that <laughs> Mr. Romo Dunze. But I will say this. I love the fact that he's talking about, like, I, I, the pace of my drop, the speed of my drop. So it's really important to understand, Bears fans, there's a difference between inaccurate throws, like, oh, my gosh, this guy misses, yep. and then maybe a lack of communication or understanding and seeing a defense the same way. There's a miss to Keenan Allen. And then that clip that we just saw, that Mr. Romo and Dunze, when Caleb Williams is talking about on third down, you know what, maybe I rushed my drop mm -hmm. just a little too much. I think it's really important for everyone to understand how much of the details matter with these plays, okay? So, Keenan Allen, all right, he's at the bottom of the screen now, Hawk. Yep. I think he's running a choice route, one of the greatest choice route runners that we have in the NFL. When I say choice route, you know this, you're like, all right, he's going to go up to the line of scrimmage, he can sit, he can run in, mm -hmm. he can break out. He's really trying to read leverage, and this is just a completion play. Wide receiver, like, tell me what you're looking at when it comes to your choice route in this yeah. offense. All right, number one is coverage recognition. So take it back from me. And the alignment yeah. kind of will tell us this. Yep. So the things I'm considering, number one, is this a top hat? And you know what a top mm -hmm. hat is. Yes, this sir. guy, is he playing this straight up? Sure. Like these, these two and these two? Yep. Or is he guarding him and him? Now, what he'll see is, this safety is cheating over. Okay. Mm -hmm. So somebody is probably coming, and it's probably going to be the J. The, J. Mack. Uh, so as a safety, you're playing a rookie quarterback. Yeah. Is it about Keenan? Is it about the quarterback? So What's it about? It's about the quarterback. And you saw on both of these coverages, it's almost the same thing. They're rushing one, two, three, four. Yep. This is the fifth rusher. We would almost call this a fire zone. Yep. So within yep. that, you have two guys that are going to be outside right there. He's a number two player. He's a number two player over here. And then this guy in the middle is controlled by number three. So right now, you saw both of these pictures. They don't show Caleb Williams the entire picture yeah. until after the ball snap. Mm -hmm. So to Hawk's point, he knows it because the safety is lined up over top of the slot. So they're capped, yeah. So I, K, Caleb's kind of seeing this coverage change, right? And Keenan's seeing the same thing. Like when I watch Keenan get to that top of that route, he's got vision on a bad yes. guy. Yes. And so Keenan's kind of with his body language. And again, this is why week two, week three, the nuance of his body saying, I'm going in, but I'm not going in mm -hmm. full speed. Don't get me hit. And what you're going to see is Caleb's going to drive that ball in there, and Keenan's going, no, 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 I wanted that ball maybe a yard yeah. outside more on that choice route. And I think that's really important because to the naked eye, people at home are going, oh, my gosh, Caleb Williams stinks. He can't even hit a ball five yards downfield. And I'm saying, I think Keenan is doing that boring yes. body language to get into the middle of the field. Now, the ball to Romo Dunze. It's third down, and you're hearing Caleb say, well, the speed of my feet. Now, this is what I see. Again, Caleb Williams is going to stare down the middle of the field. There's another pressure. Then all of a sudden, he's going to let that ball go right now. Now, his body language, Rome's saying, I'm peeking right now. Look where he is on that hash, right? Now, when this ball gets out of his hands, see, I, I see where he ends up. Yep. And he's in between the hash. Quarterback, receiver, whose fault is that? So this is a, you know, dealer's choice kind of thing. Now, if this is Keenan Allen, and Keenan Allen's going to pull him aside and say, hey, when I'm, when I'm doing this, I'm going to settle in this mm. hole this way, and he's going to listen. What do you mean by that when you say Keenan Allen's going to tell you? Keenan sitting. Allen is a veteran. To okay. your point, he understands he this. It. He has high on the ranking. Now, eventually, Caleb Williams will be able to do this with everybody. Mm -hmm. But at this stature, and like in that last throw, Keenan Allen's going to tell him, hey, I'm going to go in, but you have to save me from that inside backer. Dot me as soon as I turn yeah, yeah. because that's what I expect. That's why the tape matters between those two. These are two rookies. Yeah. This is new to everybody. Yeah. So what Roman Dunze is not realizing, even though he sped up his drop, yeah. when you put a foot in the ground, you are telling the quarterback that's what I'm the saying. Yes. That you're throwing like if I'm Caleb Williams, I'm going to Rome and saying, Rome, I, I, when I see your numbers, when I see 15 right there, I'm trying to throw the ball to the back of your helmet. You can't round that yeah. ball off. I want to ask you this, Jay Mack. Well, what I love about this is you guys had all that conversation yeah. where you're stopping, where you're starting. And as you go through this play, I want you to pause it as they're continuing to go. Pause it right here. This is the same exact one as the play before. They're rushing one, two, three, four, five guys. Yep. The same exact droppers are in their same spots. We have two guys on the outside, one guy in the middle, and now he's working to get to the middle of the field. It's the same exact coverage with different guys rushing just to give him a different picture. I wanted to ask you a question. So if you, if you let that play a little bit, you're going to see DJ Moore one-on-one -on -one go route up top, and I go, I guarantee there's pins, fans in Soldier Stadium. Or so, why didn't he throw the ball to DJ Moore on the go route? 
as that backside safety, I want to ask again, is it hanging a little bit more because of scheme? Are you hanging a little bit more because I want to make that rookie quarterback not have a clue what's going on? You know, if I'm this deep safety, I have three guys at this side. So the quarterback, you know, you see three by one backside. I got yeah. my best player, my best receiver. Yeah. I'm going to him I'm thinking throw the go route. So a good middle of the field safety, that's Quandre Diggs. He's a veteran. He yeah. says, I'm hanging on the numbers. I'll gradually work myself to the middle of the field. If he wants to try this guy all the way out here, this guy right here, Chinobi Awuze, he has to earn his money. Yep. But I'm protecting my corner up top. Hawk, I want to bring this back to the beginning, okay? Yep. So Keenan Allen, he's that feel guy. So you're yep. saying go back to Caleb and saying, hey, you got to dot me right here, but don't dot. bring me too much. Yeah. Romo Dunze, we're sitting here having a conversation and saying you got to be exactly where you're. So there's Precise. one guy's a, a rules guy mm -hmm. and one guy's a guidelines guy. But they're, they're, they're both with the same goal in mind, which is give precise pictures mm -hmm. for you to make quick mm -hmm. decisions. For Keenan Allen, he knows those answers to the test before Caleb does. Sure. The guy's coming mm -hmm. outside. If I know if I have the, uh, if, if, if J-Mac is outside of me and he's yeah. flowing this way, what I know is his help is here. Yeah. Yes. So I don't have to see that linebacker to know he's there and Caleb has to know that too. So if I get you here, I'm gonna automatically he's taking that away purposely. Otherwise, yeah. if he's inside, I know his help mm -hmm. is on this side. So this is where that is. And so for Keenan, Caleb, their whole goal is let's get clear pictures really quickly yeah. so we can be precise mm -hmm. on these choice routes, like that. quick routes, and third downs. I like that. Makes so much up. sense That's as a rookie, stuff. too, guys. Incredible stuff. Very Love dirty. it. Lại làm mình đây. Video ngày hôm nay thì mình sẽ lại chỉ cho các bạn tô những bức tranh, bức hoạt hình, động vật sao cho thật là đẹp. Nếu các bạn thấy video này hay và ý nghĩa, thì các bạn hãy cho mình xin những lượt like và lượt đăng ký kênh mình cảm ơn các bạn rất nhiều bây giờ mình sẽ đi tô mỏ cho các bạn xem nha
Vậy là mình hết tất xong rồi nha các bạn ạ Hello tất cả mọi người Lại là mình đây Video ngày hôm nay thì mình sẽ Lại chỉ cho các bạn Tô những bức tranh Bức uh, hoạt hình Động vật sao thật là đẹp Nếu các bạn thấy video này hay và ý nghĩa Thì các bạn hãy cho mình xin Những lượt like và lượt đăng ký kênh Mình cảm ơn các bạn rất nhiều Xin chào các bạn Ngày hôm nay sẽ đi to màu này Như vậy là mình đã tâm mặt xong rồi nha